Transferring started. Vehicle transfer internal complete. Three minutes, 14 seconds. CBC pre-press started. CBC lock secured. Three minutes, seven seconds. Minus two minutes. Vehicle Ordnance Army. CBC press bridges on. CBC LH2 secured. Vehicle Ordnance Armed. CBC locks of flight pressure and flight level. CBC LH2 at flight pressure and flight level. T minus two minutes. CPA script. This is Delta Mission Control. T minus one minute, 55 seconds, and counting. And the countdown continues to look good, progressing as expected, moving towards T zero as planned. T minus one minute, 25 seconds, and counting the launch vehicle, spacecraft, ground minute, systems uh, are all in a go status. Minute and counting. Go. Rock report range status. Is the rock range green? 50. 45. Second stage LH2 secure. Flight level. Launch enable enable. GE main power off. Main power off. SRM TVC blow down. This is Delta Mission Control at T minus 10, 10 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Delta engine ignition. 1, 0. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the NRO L-25 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. You're hearing the voice of Steve Agate providing launch vehicle ascent data. Altitude now 4 nautical miles, velocity 1,500 feet per second, downrange distance 11.2 nautical miles. If we pass the Mach 1 at 50, Mach, and now at the maximum dynamic pressure. Good condition control on the first stage. Standing by for SRM burnout. About 10 seconds from now.
and we have Burnout standing by for SEP. And we have separation. Good engine control. The uh, Delta vehicle now only weighs about one half of what it did at launch. This is Delta Mission Control at all plus one minute, 57 seconds into the flight. And as you just heard, Steve Agate confirmed jettison of the two solid rocket motors. The mission is continuing as expected. minutes 12 seconds in good engine control in the first stage very stable burn coming up uh, two minutes 32 seconds about one minute until a uh, fairing separation good control in the first stage Chamber pressure holding rock solid as we're approaching the three minute mark. Three minutes in, still looking good. Good engine control in the first stage and pitch on yaw, good chamber pressure. Standing by for fairing SEP. About uh, 10 seconds from now. This is Delta Mission Control at L plus three minutes, 50 seconds, and counting. We've just seen the successful liftoff of the NRO L-25 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. Liftoff occurred as planned at 4.12 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. I'd like to thank Steve Agat for his support of today's launch broadcast, providing launch vehicle ascent data. And at the request of our customer, we'll now conclude our live Delta IV launch broadcast coverage. Uh, for more information about the Delta IV, please visit our website at www.ulalaunch.com. And we'll leave you now with uh, one final look at the liftoff of the NRO L-25 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. So on behalf of the entire launch team, I'm Don Spencer. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful afternoon. SRM TVC blowdown. This is Delta Mission Control at T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 5. Delta engine ignition. 1, 0, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the NRO L-25 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. With chamber pressure on both solids, very symmetrical burn. You're hearing the voice of Steve Agat providing launch vehicle ascent data. 15 seconds in. Still looking good. Good engine control on the first stage. Chamber pressure beginning to drop off, as expected, on the main engine. Correction in the uh, two solids. Altitude now four nautical miles, velocity 1,500 feet per second. Downrange distance 11.2 nautical miles. If we passed the Mach 1 at 50, Mach and now it's a maximum dynamic pressure.